Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Bray Torn. And Jinx here. And welcome back to Small Land on the PlayStation 5. So, we did just get a notification that says we failed that world event. So, we can't go to that anymore. Seems that you do have a limited amount of time to get there. So, you noticed it is uh, kind of gloomy out. We also got a notification that there's supposed to be a storm coming up. So, we constructed this here so we can hide under it in case it gets bad. I think it'll be fine. Because we're going to stick around here a little bit longer because we still are collecting stone. I don't know how much of the stone we need. I'm going to build a stone house. I can imagine us needing quite a bit. You need so much of everything else. That's true. Like we'll have like a hundred fiber and then we'll use it all up. I probably wouldn't hurt to have a nice little stack of stone. I need to find fiber. Yeah, like right now I just have 16 currently. And I guess we can also harvest this mushroom. Does having better tools get you more of it or just let you hack it quicker? Maybe both. That would be nice. It didn't seem like it gave me any more. Alright, so let's go ahead and get the stone over here. Now, again, this area is not the best place for us to be at. Since there's all these ant holes. Found a bunch lots of, fiber. of enemies. So yeah, we'll just get these and then uh if the storm still doesn't come that we can hear it. Yeah, maybe it won't be bad. Or maybe it would be terrible. Oh I found a bottle cap. Oh. I'm getting attacked by many an ant. Or just the carpenter ones, but I actually find the bull ones a little bit easier because their animation is, takes so long. Yeah, they wind up. And so you got plenty of time to like, dodge them. Did you get him? Got one of them. I got two of them that I'm fighting okay, right now, so. I'm well, he's you. almost dead, thanks. Thanks for your <laughs> assistance. <laughs> I help. And looks like the other one didn't drop anything. Alright, so pick up that resin. Is that all the stone here? Uh, well, I guess you can go inside the so. cave and get more. Hmm, do you want to, though? I mean, it seems like a spider cave or something, or doesn't snake it? snake cave. Or snakes in here. You know, I don't think there's any snakes in the game. Is it just bugs? No, it's not just bugs. There's birds that are enemies. There's also reptiles. Oh. In fact, you can uh, tame a gecko. Or a couple of the lizards, I think. I think there's like two different types of lizards, or three different types. No, you should come down here. Why? It's kind of weird. Yeah, I'll come down there. I guess we don't need all this stone. There's there's a ton of it, guys. Uh, I think it goes to different places. Yeah, see, so you were all scared. I was scared, but it was cool. I'm still scared. I'm smacking both of these stone at the same time. Oh, wow. My skills. I feel like on the, the Ants movie. <laughs> uh, Sylvester Stallone over here. <laughs> His character. Give me Just two pickaxes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, if we can hit both of these at the same time, I don't know if this is working this time. Nope. Yeah, we'll just pick up all this stone so we'll have plenty of it. For whatever we might need it for. Ants maybe was way better than a bug slime. Yeah, uh, we've talked about this on the <laughs> channel before. A controversial topic because a lot of people actually preferred the bug slime. I just didn't agree. Like, I get why people didn't like certain parts of the Ants movie. Like the main character in the Ants movie was like, super whiny. Yeah, he was. It's kind of just part of his character though. So I get some people don't like that whiny character, but uh, everyone else was cool. <laughs> yeah, what what I really liked about it, and I know it's a little thing, but it's kind of a big thing, is that the ants had six legs. That the ants were ants. Yeah, I mean they had four legs and two arms, whatever. Since we got to humanize them, but uh, they had six limbs. 
Unlike in The Bug's Life, where they, they only had four, which was ridiculous. Wait, can we have the... Oh, you can gather the screw? Yeah, yeah. I remember I, I got uh, two or three screws last episode. We have some sitting there at the storage, I think. Wish we could have the battery. That would be cool. Not entirely sure what you use the screws for, but... But we're going to use them. Can we break this down, bring it home? Is this, a, is this a battery? Well, this is. Oh, yeah, that is. I don't I'm not entirely sure what this is. Because you got to remember everything's like super, you know, a lot larger than it would really be. And then there's an exit Wow, right yeah, here. there's like all different ways to go. There's so much stone, I don't even know like how much we should collect. I don't, I don't know how much we need. Let me see, how much do you have of the stone so far? I have... I have 50. 37. You have not been working as hard as me, Jinx. No, I've been looking around. <laughs> Jinx is just wandering. I'm scouting the area. <laughs> I've got three screws, though. Okay. <laughs> I'm not hitting this stone at all. It feels like we should have way more stone than we do. I mean, these are like little pebbles. We've jinx. been working all day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this area is a lot like the area we just left. How do bugs ever find their way anywhere? No wonder they all look lost. <laughs> they all are. Well, I don't know. They use like pheromones and stuff. To... That's true. We don't have that though. Yeah. I don't well, smell you at all. They're just rubbing their stinky little butts all over the place. <laughs> yep, that's that's me. I was yep, definitely I've, here at I've some point. Been there. Oh my god, are those strawberries? What are those? Those're no, those are raspberries. Raspberries. Hold up. How do we gather these? Oh, oh no, they say they're strawberries. Hmm. Okay. Okay. They're wild. So we need to hit them with the hatch. Oops, a <laughs> pickaxe them. <laughs> Same thing. Well, they are Excited wild for some strawberries. strawberries. I ain't forced the light. Wild strawberries are a lot different than the ones we eat. Like the ones we eat have all been like genetically modified to have the tiny little seeds, but they can get kind of crazy. All right, so the cauldron is, I think, one of the crafting. I want to like kind of craft and workbench stations. I'm gonna make potions because I'm a witch. <laughs> okay, so that hole just leads out to here, Jinx. That's where our. Oh. Yeah. So it just went like up and around. Yeah. Yep. Or down and around. Yep. Whatever direction. So that is. we we could check out the other one, the other direction, see where that goes. I'm not sure what you use these pedals for. I'm curious though. I assume decoration of some sort. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it's just decoration. Make some fancy furniture. And make yourself a dress, Jinx. Oh, that would be nice. These ants are friendly. Yeah, they're nice. I like them. Alright, so we're not going to be able to do much more pickaxing without repairing. Our pickaxe. Alright, so which direction did we not go yet? This way. Yeah, it's that way. So let's see what's over here. Ants. More ants. I guess we'll do some fighting then. I want a shield. Not we're, that I'd use it. We're doing noticeably more damage, I feel. Yeah, I think we're getting stronger. Uh, somebody said that there is a shield. You know what? That's not for this game, though. <laughs> that was in a, the other game. That was in the other game. Hell Divers. I think it's just in every game we play, Jinx says, I need a shield. I need a shield. Reminds me of our Call of Duty days together. <laughs> My turtle shell. Yep. Oh, I, I lost you. I found you. I got two ants on me. Yeah, if you have a friend who really just doesn't really care about their stats, which I don't, I don't know many who do, but 
or many who have friends that don't care about stats, but yeah, you just get you a shield, buddy. Yeah, Jinx would just stand there with the shield. Be a then, shield maid. Yeah, I, I would. <laughs> I'd shoot the enemies. Because I don't give a shit about stats or like <laughs> any of that stuff. I know I suck. But whatever I can do to pad your staff. <laughs> like yeah, any fun. good player, too. Oh, shit. You bit me in my butt. Oh, we got one of these uh, bull ants. Oh, damn. Oh. Come here. He should not be able to change target as quickly as he does. I mean, he's got the big old long build up for his attack. I don't care. <laughs> he's too fast. Oh, I got like no health left. Yeah, me too. We're gonna have to eat I'm a ton hungry. of berries. So it seems you actually get that well nourished around 70 or so is when you start, you know, boosting your health back up. Well, you gotta be sure and get your protein. You're just over here eating berries. Nothing but berries, yeah. You know they give you the shit. I guess you can eat the mushrooms for the... Or we can cook up those ant heads, which mm. you got like a dozen of them up. At this point, we've been fighting ants all day. Yeah, these days, guys, I, uh... Mostly eat meat. Try and eat as much as I can. Giving up on a lot of stuff that I used to eat. And I have had, like, so few stomach issues compared to what I usually do. You guys have been on the channel for a while now. I, I've been, I have been dealing with uh, some pretty serious stomach issues for quite some time. We're going to have to repair this now. Yeah, my shit's broken, too. And Jinx means her tool, not her actual poop. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's broken, too. <laughs> Alright, so let's go to place another workbench so we can repair... But yeah, I've been changing up my diet and just changing what I eat. And God, it's it's helped so much. And yeah, really sticking to eating a lot of meat. And do we need anything meat. else? A lot of eggs. A lot of eggs. Yeah, I do eat a ton of eggs every day. Feels another like bandage. I'm always cooking eggs. I like them eggs, y'all. All right, so I don't think we need anything else here. Are you done with the workbench? Uh, I was gonna see about that upgrade thing. Oh yeah, yeah. We should do that. We should use a stone for that. All right. Okay, so yeah, you use five stone for each one of these, it looks like. But what does it do? Have you done it yet? Yeah. Hmm, I don't know. Okay, so I think it made it better. Just straight up made it better. I Let's thought take the protection was... Oh, okay. Yeah, my protection for my padded wrap is now 12, where before it was 8. Yeah, it did. Mm hmm Okay, nice. So that seems pretty helpful. But with each level, it requires a new resource to upgrade it. So now we need herptile leather. Need lizard leather. Okay. So we have a lot more protection than we did before. So we'll take less damage now. So that's great. You upgrade all your stuff? Yeah. Okay, so that used 15 stone, but we still we still got a lot of stone, still guys. Still got a ton of it. How much stone do we use for like building, I wonder? Guess I can take a look. If yeah, you want to take a look at like the different uh, things you might want to construct with the stone. And I guess this is all also helping me level up. Oh, I don't know. It doesn't have stone and stuff. Hmm. Maybe I don't have access to that yet. Because we're not smart. Oh, and just come up behind me while oh, I'm over I here just working. Build on him. And right, then we'll also level up once uh, we finish fighting this guy. We'll take a look and see just how many points we need to to get to level seven for any of these. 
The tributes. I leveled up. Alright, so it is letting me level up now to level 7, so maybe you need 3 points. Yeah, that's what it seemed like. No. It seems like you can just only put one point in each. Probably up to a certain number. Hmm. Because, yeah, I've ran into that, too. I don't think you can put, like, all three points into something. Yeah, that's what it seems like. All right. So I guess we'll do just one point in each of these. Stepping up our health. Yeah, I don't know how we, like, find stone crafting stuff. Recipes. Well, I know that you get like certain things from the NPC characters. Oh, okay. So like we could go head over to, I mean, there's one guy here, but I think this one's the closest. So we should probably head over to whoever that is. So head off to the west, like this direction. Yeah, let's do that. Start heading west. I think we got enough stone for now since we don't even know what we can craft with it. Yeah. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense to sit here and, uh, Get a ton of it. Oops, I did not mean to help. Yeah, I don't think finding stones gonna be an issue for us. So yeah, let's let's head uh head west, so that way. And see if we can't get over to this person, though. We might need to cross a bridge or something, because there's a little bit of water here. It seems like going directly west should result in us finding that land bridge. There's another enemy here. Yep. Oh, a couple more ants. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got the whole colony after me. Oh, jeez. Yeah, definitely noticeably doing more damage, though. As I've increased my strength. Mm -hmm. And I think that the, the game isn't quite as well balanced for two people. Like, it says that the world gets more challenging when the second player comes in. And so clearly it does try and balance having more than one player. But I don't know, it just seems like uh, it'd be a lot more difficult if you're playing by yourself. Yeah. Like, it's not, it, I mean, I don't know. It did suck at first when you first load up into the world and everything. Well, I mean, because you're unfamiliar you. with everything. And it didn't help and that we... A baby. I think our biggest problem is that we went off the, the tutorial route. We're like, oh, we're going to go on an adventure. Yeah, and we were not ready for that adventure. But remember, these are all, like, easy enemies, too. True. I'm going to take out this rye. Oh, did you want the... Oh, you got some. Never mind. Because I know you're shorter on fiber than I am. Those rye plants give you a good little chunk of of, sh of the uh, fiber. And we gotta eat again. Yeah, these little guys gotta eat all the damn time. Just hungry. Mm-hmm. Are we children? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one more berry should cut it. And get our health going back up. Alright, so, yes. so that's west, guys. And, uh... It's getting nighttime. I don't know how we'd cross. I'm not seeing a crossing point anywhere. Are you fighting something? Yeah. That's fine. Can you cross this? This log here? No. Okay, so we gotta find the place to cross the river, Jinx. Hmm. Well, there's a rock right there. Can you jump across that? Maybe. We're gonna try. Did we want to sleep through the night this time? That seems dangerous. Did we want to sleep through the night? Sure. Another world event at the beginning. It hasn't popped up on the map just yet. Those who don't know where it's at. All right, so remember we have to construct something to put the, the bed underneath first. Did you want to start working on? Is there an elevator that takes us up to the house? Cause it's right there. There is, but I don't know w w which side of the house it's on. No. Oh. Do you? No, I don't. I don't know, we can go back to the house if you're wanting to. Night beetles are out. 
He's about to bite you. Yep. Ah, oh, he got me. Surely yeah, I feel like this is gonna be save us. a pain trying to find it in the dark. I guess we can try using our torch here. Oh, well, maybe not. There's all this light. All this light in here. Oh, are we going that way? I don't know. We're just trying to find the the elevator, Jinx. I would think it'd be up here. Well, this is the owl. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I'm running the wrong way. You sure are. <laughs> I'm like, I think it's this way. Tinks knows the way. I mean, I don't know the way. But I, I was know running to the not way. I was running to the wrong tree. I was <laughs> running towards the owl tree. So I'm gonna go do some ran. I mean, it's good. Oh, there's your <laughs> your night beetle chasing you. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, I like these lit up shrooms. Those are nice. All right, so we're looking for the elevator, guys. I feel like it's not on this side. Yeah, I thought it was on the other side. Yeah, so maybe if you hop across these across mushrooms. The shrooms, yeah. Let's see uh -huh. maybe. Guess we'll find out. Yeah, maybe this will let you get... Oh, and I'm falling. Oh, no. <laughs> this wasn't the right way anyway. Okay, I fell... All the way down. Yeah, I feel like... Okay, I'll just come to you. I feel like this is not the best thing to do. We should have just slept where we're at. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, you find it? I found it. So we just needed to fall in the right place. <laughs> it's all planned, guys. Of course. Alright, so Jinx is heading around the tree now. And then we'll get up here and then we'll... Take a little rest. I'm having a little bit of terrain issue. Good grief. Maybe drop off some of our crap that we have to. Yeah, that'd be good. All right, tree butler. I'd like to go up. Up, up, and away. Eat a snack. Seems like it's always raining here, right? Oh, you got like no health, Jinx. Yeah. Is that what you just roll with? I fell quite far, but uh -oh. yes, that is typical health. See when I <laughs> see when I fell, I kind of sl was sliding on the tree. I tried that, and so I don't know I that I took any fall damage. <laughs> All right, so let's. Ah, uh, home sweet home. Well, hmm. Let me see if there's anything we want to repair. Who beetle sausage? You want some sausage? <laughs> <laughs> Don't want your sausage. You don't jigs. want my sausage. <laughs> no. It's delicious. Yeah, you can't make the beetle sausage out of the beetle hearts. Well, give it to me if you're not gonna eat it. If y'all didn't know, I I hate sausage, guys. It makes me sick. I don't it like the taste of it sick either. Too, but I like it. I know you love that <laughs> sausage, things. I like turkey sausage. <laughs> Anyways, let's go get all this crap put away. Although we've already almost filled up this chest, though some of this stuff is gonna stack. Yeah. Like our petals, our seeds. The stone. We'll probably place some of this in there. I don't see us needing all this. Keep some of it on us. So the toy soldier. Can you like place them? I think so. I'll have to take a look at that. You just drop them somewhere. Oh, you can only have uh, 50 stone in here, Jinx. Oh, dang, okay. I was thinking it would be a stack of 100, but... Nope. I think we're going to have to make another chest or something. Yeah. I mean, we could put a chest outside for, like, stone and stuff since it's not going to deteriorate anymore. Anyway. Yeah, there's that as well. You don't have to worry about it deteriorating. Yeah, just trying to get rid of some of this crap we got on us. And that filled it up all right there. Lord. And do we really want our food items with our building items? That's like, true, Jinx. We are more civilized than that. Yeah, we can get one of those crafted out here. Since we turned off that uh, weather damage. And is there anything we can... 
can build. Let's just take a look. So of course we have the the decorations and yeah the toy soldier is a decoration. Where do you want me to put them? He needs to keep an eye on, on the, the front tree butler. Yeah, right, let's put him right here. He's like a guard. <laughs> put him up here. All right, so let's go rotate him. He's got to be facing towards anybody trying to come up. Trying to get us. There we go. All right. So we got the toy soldier constructed that emptied out one of our slots. And uh, got a ton of different furniture and stuff you can construct as well. But I think we need a bigger house to really justify getting any of that stuff. Yeah. Our house is kind of cramped as it is. All right, so are you ready to sleep? Sure. Just kind of jump in there. <laughs> I'm sleeping with <laughs> my with my Dorge. That's smart. <laughs> That's great. Burn down the damn house. <laughs> uh, we are hungry again. Always hungry. Let's eat some of these berries. I wonder if the wild strawberries, if there's anything that you need that specifically for. Hasn't to eat it. Wonder if it's like a treat that a certain tame likes. Yeah, maybe. Could be. We can make the ladybug thing. Would we need it? The, the nectar, right? Yeah. Yeah, put the nectar you in there. Make one? Yeah, yeah, sure. We'll get that. How do you make that inside the workbench? Yeah. The ladybug travel kit. Got it. Okay. So now we well, just gotta go beat. This beat kit includes ladybug. a special treat to tame a ladybug as well as a backpack designed to attach. Okay, so that's how they have the extra storage for them. Oh, they have little backpacks? Yeah, I think that's the main purpose of the ladybugs. Because I don't think you can ride them. That's fine. I just want a friend. Yeah, I think they're just for like, uh, they follow you and they have extra storage. All right, guys, so we're going to be doing our, our journey west, trying to anyways, to get to Caleb. I just think that's the closest person that we can potentially reach. Lots of ants over here, so let's try to avoid them so we can just avoid a fight with them. Might not be able to, though, because they are very adamant on they fighting. They're aggressive. Yeah, they're very aggressive. I'm going to try and run and avoid them. Because, yeah, really all we need to do here is try and see if we can't cross. I don't think I'm going to avoid the fight. Oops. Yeah, we got to fight him. There's another bottle cap here if you want it, Jinx. Oh, nice. Okay, so here's a, a place where you might be able to, to cross it. Did you find a bridge or was that to the owl place? No, there's a rocks that you could uh, hop across. Can you hop across? You no, know, there's pads? one right there. There's more of these screws. There's lily pads over here. I think so, yeah. But there's also this location right here, Jinx. Okay, I'm coming. I think this is the better way. It is a bridge. I think this is the best way to get across the river, honestly. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, this is the... The owl place, so maybe the owl place just kind of naturally crosses it for you. Okay, so we still got to get across right here. I think just going straight ahead here should lead us to a bridge, hopefully. Something we can kind of jump our way across, maybe? I don't know. Ooh, no, maybe not. I don't know. Do you think we could, we could hop across that? Hmm risky Let's we're see. not that far from our, our camp no, though. that's pretty fast moving Let's get all these goodies real quick guys yeah you can make it okay. <laughs> <laughs> just barely yeah I was thinking that it would be somewhat close enough that you could probably make it there we go All right, so we are now on the other side here. There's honeycomb. Mm-hmm, honeycomb. Bet there's bee bugs. Looks like there might be a hornet right over there. 
All right, let's just see how far. Oh, yep. So we have to go north, northwest. So like up this way. Should lead us to this uh, NPC character. Oh, this is a big old thick tree. I don't know. I don't know anything about him. Another one of those bull ants, though. Oh, there's a bunch of them. I'm kind of curious if we can't avoid some of these fights. I don't know. How long will they chase you? Well, there's bees incoming. Oh, Lord. I wonder if we can't get them like fight each other. I don't know, but I got... That ant is on my ass. <laughs> there's also a beetle. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, I'd say just run, Jinx. Oh my god, we got like a whole army of enemies after yeah, us at the moment. Yeah, just like everybody. Okay, so we lost the bees. They got bored. Mm -hmm. We still have the one ant coming after us. Just run up the tree and everything. Oh, this is one of the trees that you can turn into your home. Oh, okay. So we could like claim this location and then move the, the home here. Or I could have a home. I mean, or you could have a home, but that would not bring all of our stuff. No, it wouldn't. There's a little beetle down there with all his treasure. I'm kind of curious how that works, and we are over here. We so if we wanted to, him. Oh my god, how did we do that? Okay. We were running for our lives. Yeah. I suppose there's that. Because again, I kind of feel like the map's a little bit smaller than it seems. Or the map's just doodles, and it doesn't mean <laughs> anything. <laughs> just doodles. I'm just trying to like look at how when we move. Yeah, I mean, we did not move very far, and we moved a good distance on the map. So I just think it might be a little bit smaller than than you'd seen. Are we fighting? Yeah, I okay. guess so. We can't really uh, navigate when we're trying to avoid enemies. I think I should probably invest a bit more in stamina. I'm getting exhausted. Yeah, I had to put some in stamina. I put a few Just points into it. Too tired. But clearly not enough. Snack break. Berries don't do much, guys. Can't eat a ton of them. Gotta get your protein. I mean, so he's got to be, like, right around here somewhere. Like, maybe right over the, this edge here. Hey, God. Another ant. I mean, this oh, seems I to be... Yeah. It's like a little settlement area. We're going to bring an ant right into no. the... <laughs> Uh-oh, I'm falling. Well, there's a little mine cart. And we got it over here. Can't let him get into the town. Oh, Frosty. There we go. You want his goodies, Jinx? I got his goodies. Alright, so I'm not seeing... Oh, there he is. This it is probably... Right in. Yep, this is who we're looking for. So let's go and have a chat with him. Hello, Vanguard. I am Corporal Caleb Stein. What are you doing here? I am responsible for escorting and protecting small folk miners. So he can make the stone armor for us. Oh, dang. So this is supposed to be pretty useful. I mean, I guess we can make it now. Yeah. So this just requires stone. We would not be able to make all of it, but we don't have a mask yet, so why not make this now? Since we don't have anything in that slot. And it's a cool little mask. It requires... Do you have any stone on you? Yeah, I do. Okay. So we're going to make that for right now. So the stone does not have good cold protection. It's hard to move in, though. Makes you slow. Yeah, it does seem like it makes you a little bit slower. But it does give you piercing resistance as well. Are we in a fight? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> We're in a safe zone, asshole. And he's, he's not even doing anything. Like, We're isn't his job protecting... Story. All right, let's... Is there another one? Yeah. Oh, Lord. Okay. So let's go back to talking to Caleb, though. Let me put this helmet on, since I'm out of 
the conversation. That's my that's my stone mask. You are so creepy. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't think I'm gonna make one. Yeah, I don't know because like you can't see your. Yeah, it's unfortunate because you can't see your your character now. Now you're ugly. Is there any way to like make it so you it's not visible? Like Probably some games not. do. Probably not. Okay. It is nice to have more protection, I suppose. All right, so let's go ahead and talk to him. And go with the next question, which is, what happened here? Why is no one working the mine? A tragedy. One of the tunnels collapsed and most of the miners perished. The mining operations are on hold for now. Do you know anything about stone working? I know a thing or two. To work stone, you'll need to build a cutter grinder. We don't have the resources to make a proper one up here, but you may be able to create a makeshift cutter grinder using some of the giant's artifacts, like bottle caps and screws. Okay, yeah, that was one of the things we needed to construct. I don't know if we had the, the, resource yet, uh, the resources yet. We should probably take a look at that next time we're in our you know, doing our crafting. Uh, so where can I find one of those? Bottle caps are often found on sandy shores near washed up bottles. Screws, you should find some near giant's artifacts. What else can I make with the cutter grinder? You can use it as a grinder to make seed oil out of seeds or sand wood to obtain refined wood. Heck, you can even cut flint and craft new weapons and tools. Okay, so we still need to get the flint, but refined wood was one of the things we actually needed. Oh, and isn't there like a stone grinder that you have access to build? Yeah, mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, that's what I was telling you about. That I, yeah. I was saying that we should have looked to see what we needed to build to construct that. We should have. Uh, can I harvest these stones? Sure, but you'll need a pickaxe. Those are expensive and we're not just handing them out. You might also be able to make one yourself, though. Yeah, I think we already have that, actually. You see the brand ants? Yeah, we got You that. already did all that. Thanks, I will. So we're a little bit ahead of that. All right, so let me just take a look at this, guys, because I'm curious what we need to make this. So 10 stone, which we already have, two or one screw and we already have that and one bo bottle cap so we can actually make this at home yeah we should have made that the last time we were there i have one right here too so next time we're at the house we will construct stone grinder thing the stone grinder yeah and we can grind up those seeds and uh also make some refined wood because i think there's a few uh recipes we had where we needed the the refined wood We'll make our house prettier. Yeah, we'll improve it all. Okay, so we've talked to him. I guess he had some information for us. Let's see if there's anything here he might want to loot. Oh, okay, so this walks all down to the that mine area. More ants. Oh, there's a little elevator too. Mm-hmm. I don't know that we need to go over there for anything, though. But I want to ride it. Okay, Jinx. It's free. <laughs> oh. Does it? Does it even work? Uh oh It's stuck in the hole there. No. It does not. It might take you up if you're down there, but... So, coming back. the world event is over here next to this NBC character. We'll never make it. Yeah, not in today's episode, that's for sure. I kind of want to move our tree over to this area and then just go up to the tree and work on that stone cutter thing. Because isn't this tree right here? Yeah, it's not like that's far away, although I don't know if I can get up there. I don't think so. Okay. Maybe if we like yeah, you can make it. <laughs> jump onto this and walk up this stick. You can jump. Hold up. There Whoa. we go. Skills. And then, yeah, if we go up this tree here. There's a beetle. Yeah, I'm gonna try and avoid the beetle. They're everywhere. I'm avoiding these damn Just beetles. Bugs everywhere, imagine that. But yeah, maybe climbing up this tree so we can get the, the stone cutter gone. And I'm curious how it works with the, the claiming the other tree. Like, does everything move? Exactly right. as you had it? You'd assume so. But. Yeah, I would think it would just move your whole house. Mm hmm. Yeah. Although, how these little guys can do that. I don't know. Probably magic. Oh, damn. 
I just jumped right off that tree. Magic. We're not bugs, Jinx. Yeah, we are. Why do we have antenna? We're small folk. We got bugs. We folk, We're, Jinx. We got bug eyes. Whoa. I think you just walk up this way, but yeah, Jinx made it. I'm a jumping bug. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even have six limbs. I do, you just can't see them. <laughs> I wear them under my shirt. She's got two little arms, little baby wee arms. <laughs> Don't judge. Oh no. <laughs> I wasn't judging, I was just telling you. Hey tree man, what you I know you're up there. <laughs> oh, is this where he <laughs> will deliver us? You're gonna make us climb all the way up here, that's ridiculous. It's part of the ritual, Jinx. You wanna claim the tree as your own? We have to climb the tree. We gotta rub our scent all over it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ooh, it's getting wet up here. Oh, and oh, can you just climb up this thing? No, we can't. Now Jake's probably way ahead of me. I'm waiting. You don't have to wait for me. Why not? I mean, if you just want to run with me. I do. Jinx is... wants to, Jinx wants to be on camera. That's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> So are all the trees like similar as far as like the the climbing up? I don't know. It seems similar. Yeah, it seems uh, uh, the the exact same. <laughs> yeah, almost if not the exact same. All this looks. It does. It is starting to feel kind of. Fam it is. Yeah, all this same. is the mm -hmm. same. Well, that's unfortunate because like now I'm kind of wishing they didn't make me do it with every tree. <laughs> if it's just the same damn thing, you'd think they'd be there each. You know, each don't little challenge. Or at least have a few different varieties. Yeah. Yeah, this is all exactly the same, guys. Well, we should get really good at it. Yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> Especially if you move your tree a lot. We'll try and avoid doing that because it's kind of a pain about climbing up it. Once you claim a tree and then you move it, do you have to then climb up an, that tree again if you try and move your base back to there? Probably. I don't know though. I'm not really. Well, I almost died. Because yeah, I'd prefer the elevator's just there after you've claimed it once. That would be the most efficient way of doing it. Convenient, I should say. I'm all about convenience. Whoa, I'm getting a little too risque with this. <laughs> Are you naked? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just losing articles of clothing with every mushroom you jump on? Uh-huh. Strip jumping is what I call it. So we made it. I want to claim this tree. And then we want to make it public. I think it's already public. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, so you see it moved all our stuff, including the little G.I. Oh, Joe man. army guy, a little toy soldier guy. He needs a name. I said G.I. Joe. He's not G.I. Joe. Well, what do you want to name him? Rick? Um, yeah, Rick. All right, so let's go ahead and eat a few berries here. Oh, I'm starving. And then we'll take a look at that stone cutter, guys. Eat you some of them shroomies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting rid of the berries, Jinx. Are we putting the stone cutter in here? I don't know where you no. said that. I don't know how big it is. We can put it out here. Alright, let's take a look at it. Oh, I do need to get the, the stuff out of the, the the chest first. And let's see other things. We need the bottle caps and the screws. Okay. I mean, it's not huge if we wanted to put it in here. You're going to get dust all over our bed. <laughs> I think that, like, normally you do want to put everything inside, though, guys. Yeah, because weather will tear it up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so that unlocks the cauldron, the apothecary table, the tannery, and the covered bed so that we can get oh. better beds. Oh, wow, look at all this stuff in here. Wow. Do you have access to it all immediately as well? Also, the wooden chest, so a larger chest, since that uses the uh, refined wood. Yeah, I do. 
Okay, so a lot of this requires, like, you know, refined wood, flint, stuff like that. Can you get the flint with the pickaxes that we have? I'm not entirely sure. I guess we'll have to see. Oh, I want a flint sword. So just taking a look at what's all in here. Yeah, it's a lot of flint stuff, also the seed oil. Oh, we gotta make bricks. For what? Oh, the stone bricks. Out of stone. Okay. For building. So if you just construct like one of those, would that uh, open up new stuff? I built one, but I don't see that it did anything yeah. different. There's no actual new buildings here at the moment. Okay. Not entirely sure what he uses the brick shant. So the covered beds require garlic leaves. So we're gonna be sleeping on garlic, apparently. We got a lot of new stuff for us to get. The refined wood, you need the seed oil in, in the wood, so we're gonna have to make sure we use those seeds. Seems like the seeds are pretty important. But once you have the refined wood, you can get all the the new stuff here. Well, you can get a stone hammer anyways. That you That's uh, blunt damage. Okay. Well, basically, we're gonna need to get flint. Are you smarter than me? Cause like, mm -mm. my building stuff is different. No, my intelligence is zero. I'm dumb, super dumb. This is all something we'll work on in the next episode. I can't take the seeds out of here though, I guess. And then we can look at that recipe that allows us to get the seed oil here. So you just craft like a bunch of this. And then from there, they'll allow you to get the refined wood. I don't know if there's anything else you need the seeds for. For now, right now, we'll just get a bunch of refined wood because I know a lot of stuff requires that. Like the stone hammer. I don't know if we need the stone hammer for anything though. I mean, it's good with the blunt damage, but it's not really all that much higher than what we're using right now. Which has the edge damage of four to six. This is six to seven. Wonder if blunt damage is better for beetles. I imagine it's better for certain enemies. Because yeah, the can't, pokey damage does nothing to beetles. You can't uh, get any of this other stuff without flint. Like flint is definitely going to be necessary. Well, we know where that's at, kinda. So yeah, we're going to have to start getting that. They didn't lock some new stuff though. Mushroom chairs, mushroom tables, candles. And some tonics, although we don't have the apothecary table, so that's something we have to make as well. And I suppose that's the main thing you need the... Oh, recurve bow. I suppose that's the main thing that you need the refined wood for, is allows us to construct the cauldron. And... The apothecary table, though you do need a bark for that as well. The tannery needs the flint. Okay. Garlic leaves. And we need the garlic leaves, yep. All right, so we can construct the ant head trophy. That's that's all that matters, guys. We need to get that constructed and put up on the wall. Uh, but hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. As unfortunately, we do have to end this one here. If you did like it, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Do hope to see you guys on the next one. And thanks for watching.